Hello. Today in this video, I will show you how to bypass BitLocker recovery screen on Windows. Let's start with method number one. This method only work on Dell PC. Boot up your PC, then press F2 to open BIOS. Here, expand the security menu and search for PTT security. Then turn on this setting. The next step is to turn on secure boot. For that search for secure boot and click on enable. Now click on apply. Then ok. Exit the BIOS. Hope this resolve your issue. Let's move forward to method number 2 for other PC brands like HP, Asus and Lenovo. This part of this video is taken from Valium Media. This is the list of the most common keys to open BIOS menu for different PCs. From security tab, enable secure boot option. In Asus and other laptops with American Megatrend BIOS utility, click on advanced mode and then navigate to security tab to enable the secure boot. If the TPM is disabled in your computer, then you have to enable it in order to bypass the BitLocker without password and recovery key. Notice that the TPM configuration may take another name in some computers, for example, it may be named PTT in some Intel motherboards, or FTPM in some AMD motherboards. In Lenovo and other laptops with BIOS settings similar to this, the TPM can be turned on by changing the security chip to enabled under security tab. After enabling the TPM click apply icon or new changes. Let's move forward to method number 3. You must have to have recovery key. Further. Click on escape twice. Now you will get this option, skip this drive. Click on it. Now click on troubleshoot. Then advance option. Then command prompt. On the command prompt, type notepad if you have your recovery key saved in your PC then here click on files then open now here locate the uh, path where you have saved your recovery key if you saved your recovery key to an external USB plug it into your device and click on this PC and open that external drive and copy your recovery key from there. If you have your recovery key to your Microsoft account, log in your Microsoft account to another device and copy the recovery key from there. When you got your recovery key, come back to your main PC and close the notepad and on the command prompt type manage dash pte space dash status this will list the drive and show you which drive is encrypted for me as you can see for drive c bitlocker version is showing 2.0 that means for drive c bitlocker is enabled for drive D, it's showing none. That means for drive D, the locker is not enabled. So, now type manage dash pd space dash unlock the drive later. In my case, it's C. As you can see, type C column space dash rp space then paste your recovery key which you copied from the microsoft account or the file now hit enter this will unlock the drive now you have to disable your bit locker for that drive for that type manage dash pde space dash protectors then 
it says that disable the drive letter in the column it enters this will disable the bitlocker for that drive now exit the command prompt and reboot your pc this will resolve the issue now let's move forward to method number 4 if you have bitlocker password type manage dash pte space dash unlock for the demonstration purpose and using drive t so try type your drive letter then colon the dash password and hit enter now enter your password Unlock the drive. Now you have to disable or decrypt your drive. For that, type manage dash pde space dash off and the drive letter then colon. This will. to start the decrypting process as you can see decrypting is in process this will take a look, some time for to track type manage dash bde dash status This will show you what is the current status of the drive. As you can see, as of now, it's decrypting. So, don't turn off your PC. Wait for some time and type this command again. When it say, says says decrypted or anything like that, turn off, restart your PC, and your issue will be resolved. If none of the previous method work for you, here is a final method for you. For this, you don't need to have a recovery key or password. Note that this method will completely delete your data. Let's start with method number five. First, you have to connect a Windows Bootable Media to your drive. then select the language and click on next as usual then click on install now here on this screen accept the license and click on next then select the custom option here All, all you have to do is to delete all the available drives or the partition. Uh, select the first drive and click on delete, and then click on OK. Do the same for second or third or whatever drive drives you have. When all drives are deleted. Just select drive and click on next. This will install a complete new Windows for your system.